Philip, it's time to go, said the angel. Philip got ready at once. He listened for the angel's directions. Travel south to the desert road that goes from Jerusalem to Gaza, said the angel. Philip set off to obey. He had never heard these directions before. What would God do, he wondered. Meanwhile in Jerusalem, an Ethiopian officer climbed into his royal chariot. He was the top boss over all of Queen Candace's gold, silver, and jewels. It's time to go, he called to his driver. The officer had come to Jerusalem to worship God. Now he was returning home to the country of Ethiopia in Africa. Let's take the quiet desert road, said the officer. I want to read my scroll. Crack went the whip. The horses neighed and the chariot started off down the road. Philip walked along that very same road. But Philip didn't see the chariot. In fact, he didn't see anybody. What will I do here? Philip wondered. Philip loved telling others the good news about Jesus Christ. But the only others he saw along that lonely road were a couple of lizards and a porcupine. Just then, Philip heard wheels creaking behind him. He jumped out of the way, and a chariot rolled past him, stirring up dust in the road. God's spirit said to Philip, Go and catch up with that chariot. Philip sprinted to the chariot and ran alongside it. He saw the tall, dark-skinned officer sitting inside. Philip leaned in close to listen. He was led to the slaughter just like a sheep, the Ethiopian read aloud from his scroll. And just as lambs are quiet when they are sheared, he was quiet too. He did not open his mouth. Philip smiled. He knew those words. They were written in the Old Testament book of Isaiah. Do do you understand what you are reading? asked Philip. No, I don't, said the Ethiopian sadly. Will you sit with me and teach me? Philip climbed into the chariot. As they rode along, Philip explained. The prophet Isaiah tells us about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God. People led him to the cross to be killed, and he didn't say a word to stop them. Then on the third day, God raised him from the dead. All persons who believe in Jesus will be forgiven for their sin. The officer listened carefully. Then his face lit up with excitement. Now I understand, he cried. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I trust him as my savior. They traveled along and came to some water. Stop the chariot, ordered the officer. I want to be baptized. Philip and the officer stepped down from the chariot and waded into the water. Then Philip baptized the officer. As they came up out of the water, the Ethiopian felt like splashing and jumping for joy. Finally, he understood the good news about Jesus. He couldn't wait to share it with everyone back home in Ethiopia. Thank you, he said as he turned to Philip. But wait, Philip was gone. God's spirit had snatched him away to a town called Azotus, and Philip traveled around doing the thing he loved best, sharing the good news of Jesus with everyone he met. Sparky's Here's what you can learn from Philip's biography. God wants men, women, and children from all countries to trust Jesus as Savior. God wants us to help people near and far to understand the good news about Jesus. You can read more about Philip and the Ethiopian officer in your Bible. Look up the New Testament book of Acts, chapter 8, verses 26 to 40. Acts 1, 8. But ye shall receive power, after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and in Samaria, 
and unto the uttermost part of the earth.